we paddle and do not row. We are paddling for a cure. We are paddling for a cure. Sure. I was diagnosed about two and a half years ago with breast cancer and to be honest my first reaction was to plan my own funeral. I'm a breast cancer survivor first diagnosed in 1988 and again another occurrence in 2002. Uh, having received the diagnosis of breast cancer eight years ago it was very devastating. My husband found my lump. Um, went through chemo, radiation, reconstruction. The doctors told me that because my hair is so thick, I, would, um, I wouldn't lose all my hair, that no one would be able to tell that I had, uh, had breast cancer or that I was going through chemo. And apparently four days after um, I started my chemotherapy, um, all my hair fell, fell out. Having joined the uh, Dragon Boat uh, team um, six years ago, um, I found that the criteria for uh, joining the team kind of sucked because you have to have a breast cancer diagnosis in order to be a team member. The reason for um, breast cancer survivor dragon boat teams is that it's important for a breast cancer survivor to have an active lifestyle. In the past it was believed that we shouldn't do anything. We should just kind of sit quietly, don't move. Doctors wanted women to not even lift their children. They wanted, after they'd had their breast cancer, they wanted them to, to be very gentle with their bodies. And Dr. McKenzie said, I disagree. I think they should be working to build those muscles again. I think they should be pushing the poison through their lymph system and moving. It was proven that having an active lifestyle certainly improved our physical well-being as well as our emotional and spiritual well-being. We laugh a lot, um, we joke around a lot, sometimes so much so that we have to come back in. Let's we'll see how long it lasts. No wonder your husband married you. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> She's out, she screwed in a cleat. <laughs> That's all that good screwing. Yeah. That's right. Oh, this it's isn't on, rolling, is it? Is that, yeah. <laughs> That scares me. Before I got into dragon boating, it was kind of like the cancer, breast cancer was a negative part of my life that I just wanted to forget about and not think about. And through dragon boating, I've come to accept it and not think of it as negative anymore. After my first day out dragon boating, I was addicted and to this day I am still addicted. There's a sense of uh, control over your life when you're dragon boating. Um, if you have a problem, you can talk to somebody on the Dragon Boat team. Um, there's days when it's like, oh, do I really want to go? You get out there, you get on the boat, you see the other women, and it just changes. And you get out there and just paddling and getting your body moving and um, it just makes you feel so much, so much more alive. We're able to um, not just only practice and paddle, but to share our feelings and give each other support. We paddle as one. We paddle as one. A group of breast cancer survivors. And it's not about fear. It's about living. And this year we lost two ladies, so you always have to, you know, be aware that it could be you, it could be your friends, it could be the person sitting beside you. But uh, we try to encourage women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer, who feel they cannot uh, join a dragon boat team because they're not athletic. Dragon boating has given me a sense of pride. Um, a sense of athleticism. I am not an athletic person at all. Some of the girls that started with us last year were just growing their hair in. This year their hair has all grown back, their paddling has become better. When you're going through your treatments and when you're going to the cancer clinic you feel secure and you feel taken care of and I really love that, that aspect of going through treatments and seeing the doctors 
I found that after the chemo and then you go for your radiation, which is every day for three, three weeks, and then afterwards you just cut loose. There's nothing, um, they say, okay, that's it, you're, you're done, you know, we don't have to see you anymore. And just, I felt the, such a feeling of, of loss. Um, I needed that security blanket. This team is a, 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 has a great camaraderie. Um, everybody really looks out for one another on uh, the Windsors of Rust or Not team. Um, we're, we've become a very, very close-knit family. We're like sisters. These are my inspiration for getting through breast cancer. This is Jordan and this is Sean. And at the time, they were five and three. And if I didn't have them, I don't think I would have gotten through my chemo and radiation as easily as I did. This is my paddle, which I am very proud of. And this is my inspiration when I put this paddle in the water. It's almost like there's a sacredness about my paddle and about the boat we're in and about the history of the boat and the history of the team. These three women were my friends. They passed away while I was in treatment, which was very difficult. Women that were only about 50 years of age, who had a lot of living yet to do. They were courageous, they fought hard, but they lost. My mother, a 33-year survivor. My cousin, my sister-in-law, and another good friend. These are the women I paddle for. These are the women that I don't want their lives to have been in vain. Dragon boating is an absolutely inspirational, fulfilling um, thing to do. There's a couple of things that have happened in the dragon boat that were just amazing to me and, and one of them was a race we had uh, about three years ago. There was a group of women uh, who had lost their, their, it was their baby sister. There were six girls and she was their baby and she died with breast cancer. And they had been so busy taking care of her estate and everything in her life. She had children so they really didn't have a chance to mourn her and they were coming down Riverside Drive and saw all these people and pulled over and got out of the car and came over to the water when we were doing the flower ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, as they honor those we've lost to breast cancer, take time now. Say a silent prayer and that we'll never have to lose another, the breast cancer flower ceremony. Thank you ladies, thank you for competing, thank you for being survivors, thank you for never quitting, thank you for fighting the fight. just like it was um, inspir it was an inspiration sent from God for them to be able to say goodbye to their sister that way. Every stroke of my paddle, when it goes down in that water, all I think of is, I have survived this. Good for me. We are paddling for a cure. We're survivors, that's for sure. We're survivors, that's for sure. We will paddle with all our might.